In this uh, situation, I, I will have uh, Bloody, Inigo, and Marchante. No? They are here just for him in the mountain stage. In mountain stage, uh, heart for body, for head. I have responsibility for Carlos, I stay near Carlos. It's a big stress. Make sure Marchante, Inigo and Vladi, they are more calm today, help them. Brett, Hayden, Henrik. Yeah, today we can get beans. Yeah, exactly. That's what I want to say. It was uh, in the best group. It was not easy, but I was there. And just for me, it's important, you know. I need to go through this uh, first week, trying to don't spend my energy and just be calm be day by day. It looks like fossil copy, no? Yeah. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> We have to do these things in order to have a chance to win the green jersey. If we are not up front here, it will be it will be tight. It will be a tight match anyway, and it is an important part uh, to show uh, to show Cavendish that we are ready to take points wherever we want it. Thor, he was uh, pretty clever, and he felt strong enough to jump uh, almost in the top of the climb, and then he just went downhill, full gas. Uh, he took uh, the first first riders in the front and then uh, he won the, the two sprints today. You know, I mean, he did a great ride to start that front group over the top. That was unbelievable because it was such a hard, um, hard climb, you know. It was 20, 24k uphill and uh, for someone like Tor to be there and then attack over the top and, and go to the front and win the two sprints, perfect. Scenarios in green. Job <laughs> Yeah, the plan worked good. He, uh, he knows he has to take the points here. They like this. The Cavendish can't uh, reach over the hills and, uh, and he get the points there where he wants it. He's strong, he's big, he's all muscles. Pulls himself over the climbs, he's unbelievable. Yeah. It's going to be a really big fight uh, because uh, of course Cavendish is really fast on the flat uh, stages. Uh, he's probably the fastest sprinter in the world at the moment, but uh, it's not unbeatable and I already bet him once in Barcelona. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a big uh, battle for this, uh, this jersey the next couple of weeks actually. Feels like I'm one week into the Tour de France for sure. Uh, a little bit tired of course, just uh, got the last mountain day coming up from the Pyrenees and uh, then we've got some more flat stages to look forward to. I think psychologically it's a bit of a gain for us and a bit of a downer for Cavendish. So. Um, he'll be trying to come back as much as he can and the flat day's coming up, but uh, I think uh, he's looking a little bit weaker, and, but he's still quick at the end. The tour gets stronger and stronger. Carlos, how was it today? I enjoy it a lot. You enjoyed it a lot? <laughs> no, it was a really fast day, man. Yep. It was a hard day today, but tomorrow is rest day. What is the hardest thing about doing a three-week stage race? Heinrich snoring. <laughs> Man, this guy snores every night. Every night. Two or three times I wake up and he's snoring. Hey, mate. These are new ears. Yeah, I can't sleep with him. <laughs> Is it like a dream of every cyclist to ride the Tour de France? I think so. Like when I was growing up as a boy, or when I was young, like growing up in Australia, the only thing was uh, my goal and my dream was to turn pro and then do the tour, do the tour, for sure. Like in the first year, I remember 16th or 17th stage was pretty much like really. Hard stuff. I was the first rider dropped right at the beginning after like 3k. 
I just started crying. I just I, could, I had no nothing left. I had no power, nothing. But then, like my my mum and my sister they had already tickets booked and everything to Paris for the last stage in the last stage. Oh, it's just terrible. And then in that point, like I went into the tour, like I wanted to get good results. But then during the tour, it was just that tough and hard. I just wanted to finish. I never experienced something like that. I just I didn't understand the world anymore. I was just completely <laughs> finished. Yeah, but then like team, my, some of my teammates they dropped back and they like trying to encourage me and pushing me and stuff. And then I started thinking about oh my mum and my sister like they booked tears extra to come over. I can't pull out today and they then they'll come over for nothing. And then finally like I did finish the stage and. Then I got to Paris and it was like really something special. Like as soon as we got on the Champs Elysees, just the people there it was crazy. I like almost, almost had tears in my eyes and just goosebumps everywhere. Something I'll never forget. There was no radios today. They want to see if this uh, this get a more uh, interesting race. That's, that's the idea behind it. Uh, yeah, of course, we like to have the communication. We get used to it. We use them for more than 10 years. And there's, a, there's two buts. First, the uh, safety aspect. We can't warn the riders anymore. There's something going on. There's a crash. There is a car on the road. It doesn't make it any safer. We don't know yet what is going to happen with the radios. And the teams, they say, OK, we go without radios, but we block uh, the race. We go to the finish to make the sprint that job. I think that this is the most stupid yeah. reason that I've yeah. in my life. Yeah. This is very stupid as we don't do, Alex. We don't want them, uh, we don't want to go with four, 15 riders easy and then do a sprint that Cavendish comes there and say, hey, thank you guys, have a nice evening. That was uh, this morning uh, is not the last decision. I'm not sure what is going to be the final decision. One second. Uh, for me, it's clear. It's, I don't care what they decide. They don't decide of, uh, the, what we need to do in this team. Yeah. OK? We have a chance to win with Thor. We want to win the Green Jersey with Thor. Which we, need to, or we want to try to win a stage here. We have opportunity this week for one stage. With Thor, with uh, Housie, with uh, Hayden, with Brett. I think that we have opportunity to go in the breakaways and we are here just for a fight. Cette fois, elle arrive LCL, donc avec ce cycliste maillot jaune géant. Il y aura également le petit lion, grande dimension. Bon, race, everyone just stopped it. Let the break at 30. Minute 30 all day. You know? They just did it on purpose, I think, for the. just out of protest, I think. And that definitely wasn't. I'll tour did what he wanted to do today, stay on Cavish wheel and finish second and still keep the green, but um, it would have been better if it was a lot harder to tie Cavendish's legs, of course, because uh, it could have made it really hard today if we wanted to, but that's the way it goes and uh, we'll see, see what happens from here with the radios. Okay, Thor. Thor, I have some info from the first sprint. Uh, the last 600 meters is all straight, no corners. No runabouts, nothing. Uh, Carlos, are you okay? You guys okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, perfect. Good job, eh? A ver, un, un momento. Thor and Cavendish, they talked. El qué? What? Sorry? Hold on, if you don't, nobody. They talked. Yes. They will not do the sprints. Okay. Because? Any reason? Or? It's good for us, eh? Yeah, yeah, but... And they have more power in the end. And they both can ride for the... Okay. Does anybody want to win them? I didn't. Don't take too many bottles. A lot of guys are going for a piss now. Race situation is two guys, two guys in the front with three minutes. And then it goes up all the way? Yeah, all the way. Only the last 30 meters, something like that, is okay. not bad. The whole way. Okay? Thank you. No, it didn't work out, and uh, there was. Uh, I think today was just a day. Nothing worked, and uh, we are not stronger than Colombia. Two 
pass them in the sprint and do our own sprint and show how strong we are. And we are also not stronger than Astana to drop them in the mountains and, you know. So we just have to be there at the right moment, the right place and wait. I don't know, today I didn't have the big, uh, big legs. I felt really good during the day. Yeah. But I think I missed something power in the, just in the sprint. So, yeah. Important is that we don't lose the faith. Because I think there's uh, still uh, for the green, there's still chances also for a stage win. This year has been a really strange race. This is my ninth Tour de France. Uh, never I saw a race like this, just so strange, you know, just uh, with the prologue, Tintan trial, just um, after 11 stage. The race still is open, but uh, it's almost close. It's a point where you cannot do almost nothing. You know, I think that the, this Tour de France will be more a psychological uh, battle than a physical battle, you know? And the strongest just, uh, in the head will be the winner of the race. Everyone wants to try to win a stage here, you just know? If you win a stage here, you got uh, nice things. You have a lot of opportunities, you know? Uh, it's Tour de France, it's Tour de France. Your name, team name, will be around the world. I seem to um, don't have any problems in that kind of type of weather. Really, uh, I don't like it, but it's good. I know I've got good chances of winning when it's like three or four degrees and there's rain and wind and real bad weather. When, like, it's got a lot to do with your head. So you've got to always just keep on saying to yourself that you feel good, you feel strong, like just think positive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he has to take the risk. He has to take the risk. Let, let him go the downhill and then let him attack. Jean Paul, um, is, he, is he tired or is he going slower? Yeah, but he lost almost a minute eh, in two kilometers. Eh? So, to Chevanel. Eh? Chevanel is from four minutes down to 390 now. But don't tell him now. Don't tell him. Don't. Yeah, yeah. Let him go to the finish. If it's just 2000, let him go to the finish. What a stress, eh? Could be a great day for us. Eh? Yeah, it's good, but Chevanel was on three minutes, but that was a mistake by the GPS now. And now he's behind the two Spanish guys, so uh, and that's, that, that looked to me that Hausler became slower now. But he's not slower. So many memories and things were going through my head like the last couple of kilometers. Like as I was growing up as a little boy and like always going training after school with my dad, my biggest dream and goal, and as I was a young kid to do the tour. I was just thinking about my family in Australia and like just friends, like so all the people that support me. So it was definitely like a win for them. Can't really get much further than that, really. Because you can't get that kind of like sensational feeling anywhere else. It's just absolutely amazing. But that's what you do it for, like that's why you put in all the hard work and the training and. The long hours, like for moments like that, it's just it makes it all worthwhile. We sent out the guy who loves this weather. And that's of course is Heinrich. It was a classic uh, race for him with an incredible performance, seven minutes. Yeah, and Toro became six in the sprint, so the jersey is back with us. The green jersey couldn't be better. <laughs> Can you open the door for two seconds? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I was on my limit already on the first climb. I was nearly dropped. I thought, fuck, just stay, take it easy, and they'll get worse and you'll get better. That's the way it was. How much did you win by? Four or five minutes, I don't know. Oh, how was your victory sloop? Nothing, I was just crying. Were you? Yeah. Fucking hell. That's cool. Hey, mate, 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 mate. Let's get bouncing, mate. Mate, friends.